Good morning. This is Dr. Morse, and today we are going to talk about Lesson 13 out of Berkeley Music Theory Book 1. And we're going to be talking about the grand staff today, which we talked uh, two lessons ago about the treble clef. We talked one lesson ago about the bass clef. Now, believe it or not, we're going to combine them and make what we call the grand staff, okay? And before we start, what you should know is the grand staff is used by instruments that have a ridiculous range, like piano, okay, or marimba, and I also put harp down, okay? So you're going to see this in keyboard instruments primarily, okay? You, this is one distinction that you need to uh, realize is this is not a score, okay? A score is where you have all the instruments and voices on uh, a single page, okay, for a conductor. This is different. The same instrument is going to play the entire grand staff, okay? So you'll see it in piano music. Okay, uh, we learned all the notes of the bass clef. We learned all the notes of the treble clef. So most of this is review, except for this one note right here, okay? This note right here, and this note right here are exactly the same note, okay? So when you see that note written in a grand staff, it's the same note, okay? Uh, it sounds exactly the same. Just because there's a gap between the two notes does not mean they're, the, they're a different note, okay? Um, the reason they do that, they, you know, you, you might ask, well, why not just put them right on top of each other? The problem with that is there's not enough space for, you know, 16th notes or everything. So I always like to explain to you why we do things. So they space them out like that in case they need to write ledger lines to make it easier to read, okay? So C to C, okay? So you've got that C to this C right here. They, uh, the name of this note is middle C. You probably heard that, uh, especially if you're in piano. Uh, middle C. It is also called in another uh, in another system. It's called C four. Okay, that's the capital letter C and then a four. Okay, so that is just about everything with the grand staff. Now we're going to talk about the word. We have a new word here, uh, octave. Okay, an octave is the same note spaced apart, okay? So for instance, right here is a G, okay? We learned that G in our bass clef. That is also a G. So the difference between those two Gs is what we call an octave, okay? And then there is an octave between this G and this G, and then this G and this G, okay? So you've got four Gs right there. We've talked about how the letters repeat after the seventh note, okay? It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? There is no H. Well, you know what? There actually is an H, but it's beyond the scope of this lecture, and it has nothing to do with what we're talking about, okay? So, just so you know. All right. So, that is what you need to know about the grand staff. This has been Dr. Morse. And this has been lesson 13 out of the Berkeley Music Theory Book One. Have a good day.